Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. If you saw my last episode of the Legacy Challenge, I am still sick. I was sick in that episode. I am sick in this episode because I am filming it within like a few minutes of each other. So I, if I like just, my voice sounds really nasally and just like, ah, and like I'm coughing a lot and sniffling, that is why, because I'm sick. But in the last episode of the Royal Family, we had Princess Nea of Oasis Springs age up into a teenager. We also had Princess Amira start her own teen club so as the teenagers are aging up so are the other teenagers that are going to join the teen club if that didn't make any sense but they are aging up and then we also had Prince James of Brindleton Bay he also aged up into a teenager so we're getting more and more teenagers in this episode we're going to have Prince Francisco of Oasis Springs age up into a teenager so I mean that's just gonna be a small thing I don't want to like focus on it too much that's not like the main thing of this episode but we are also going to have so I'm gonna start getting all of our nobles and royal children start getting together so Princess Nea, I have someone that I think we're gonna have her get with in this episode, so you guys will get to see that. And then also want to talk about Princess Amira, because guys, Princess Amira is a whole nother subject, is a whole nother thing, so we'll get to her in this episode too. But before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and to hit that thumbs up button if you're excited for this episode. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. So first thing you guys will get to see, if we can actually see our sims, is that I Change Princess Nea's outfits, and I'm actually really loving these two. And guys, she is just, she's beautiful. She is gorgeous. She is amazingly beautiful. So she is going to, I'm gonna show, just show you guys the outfits that we have for her. So I have, where are they? Where are our outfits? Um, change outfit, there we go. So I don't, you guys probably can't see this very well, but their colors are kind of like yellow and green. So Princess Nea's colors are more of the yellow. So she in this episode is, in this episode. So she is wearing the gold. So this is her formal outfit, guys. I love it. I thought it like still went with the theme a little bit but it's gold and I know it's a little hard for you to see right now because it's really dark where she is standing but let me see if I can get her to stand wow this is a big palace okay let me see if I can get her to stand like right over here so you guys can see while we're doing that I'm going to have okay Queen Lindsay she I don't know where she went but she went somewhere but I'm gonna have her bake a cake for Prince Francisco so he can age up so let's make a um, let's make a hamburger cake let's just do that for fun okay so Princess Nea you can see her now she's standing over here so the tiaras I kind of have for them is that that like the hairstyle that already comes with the, the game the city living pack so I just have her wearing that but I think like this looks amazing on her guys I'm really obsessed Princess Nea you have to come back here or I'm gonna pause it so we need her I wanted her to also I'll show you guys the party outfit that we have for her I don't really think you guys need to see the other one so it's very similar just like toned down a lot so just because she's a teenager I don't know I didn't have her really doing like I think she can still wear like her very cultural dresses she used to come back here but I just didn't think like like this stuff it's still very like it's contemporary but like still kind of dealing with her culture but it's, these are also still dresses that like other people would wear too but I don't know I just thought it was like so great and so perfect for her so I'm loving these outfits a lot you guys can tell me what you think but I love them a lot and she's beautiful guys she is beautiful so while Queen uh, Lindsay, Queen Nea. While Queen Lindsay is making the cake, she, I'm going to show you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I cannot talk right now. So I'm gonna show you guys first. So I know in the last episode I said that I didn't want Princess Nea to really, I was thinking of not having her end up with Earl Philip because I wanted to keep with like the, just like keep their, their ancestors, like the looks, the dark hair, the dark skin, but guys, Okay, Earl Philip aged up into a teenager, and my goodness gracious, is he gorgeous. He is gorgeous. Like, oh my god. I, I think, so he's the Earl. It's not like a super high title, but it's like still pretty good. So, but just because he's like amazingly good looking, I think like all the girls, all the girls are going after this guy. Like, he is so good looking, guys. So, I, and I know that's so vain, but in that case, I think I am gonna have Princess Nea. I'm fine with her ending up with him, honestly. Like, I think it's fine. So, I mean, they've already got a really good friendship going. I think they can get a really good romantic relationship going really fast, too. It looks like 
queen. Lindsay's done with the cake. So, but yeah, we will get to them in a second. So we're gonna have Prince Francisco. He is going to add the birthday candles and age up into a teenager. So then in the next episode, for sure, we will have the twins age up into teenagers. And then Princess Megan has kind of got a little thing going on with Prince Kellen of Windenburg. So I think in the next episode, maybe they can go on a date. We'll have to see. I think it'll, I think we can though. So let's go ahead and have him blow out the candle. So this is Prince Francisco. He's aging up to a teenager, guys. I am, oh my gosh, we're losing all of our children. Oh, oh my gosh, I have so much other stuff to tell you too, I just realized, so give me one second. So, teenage dumb, okay, so we have him. Okay, what would he be like? He was a perfectionist as a child. So he's probably really like, like not, I guess probably kind of uptight, I would say. So why don't we have him be, um, let's see, like knowledge. So maybe he's like computer whiz, nerd brain. He wants to be both book smart and handy. Why don't we have him do that? He wants to be book smart and handy. He's a perfectionist already. Well, maybe he should be artistic. No, mm, no, no, well. Why don't we, what is this? Pick a trait. Oh yeah, okay. Um, a musical genius, painter extraordinaire, master actor. No, that's fine. We'll make him, make him be a nerd brain. So he's a perfectionist and I wanna pick something else for him. So I think he would be like a little bit uptight. So I think he would be neat. I think that might also be, so he's a perfectionist and he's neat and oh my goodness, I need to change his outfit. I want to change his outfit, I do. Mm, no, I'll wait. I'll wait, guys. I'll just show you their outfits later on. I know, and I had one of you guys say that, like, it's fine if we, like, change their outfits. I just, there's so much other stuff I want to focus on in this episode. So if we have time, I will come back to that. So, okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you guys. So while Princess Naya is, I'm, I'm, do, I, I'm gonna have her travel, but, well, yeah, we'll do the date first, and then I'm gonna show you guys. Well, let me show you guys first. Okay, so, some things happened while, like, in between episodes. So, Prin uh, Princess Anna, or Marquis Anna, had her baby, so they have a baby now, and I, they had a baby girl, and I named her Lady Aurora. So I, so someone suggested that name, and I, like, oh my gosh, do I love the name of Aurora. Like, I'm not, like, a big, huge fan of the Princess Aurora, like, from Sleeping Beauty, but I'm a little bit, because, like, I don't, I, if you guys have heard in the last few other episodes ago, I own a Princess Party company, so since I've owned the company, I, like, didn't like Aurora that much at first, but I've, like, liked her more and more as it's been, like, a few years since I've had the company now, so now I do really like her a lot. I just love the name Aurora. It's beautiful. So I named the baby Aurora. Maybe we'll we'll have the baby age up into a toddler into this episode. Oh my gosh, there's so much gonna that's probably gonna happen in this episode. But, okay, so they had their baby, and then we also have... No, no not Del Sol Valley. We want to go to the Brindleton Bay. So we also had... Oh my gosh, guys, there's a lot of babies happening. So we had Duchess, Lily, and Duke Victor. They had a baby. They had a baby boy. I believe the baby's name is is Luke, I think. I'll have to double check that. I think it's Luke. I'll have to double check. And then we also had the Marquis of Brindleton Bay. They had a baby. I think that one was also a boy, and I think I named it Aaron. I'm kind of forgetting names right now. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go back and look. But they had a baby. Pretty sure they had a boy. I'm pretty sure they had a boy. Didn't they all have boys? No. Oh, okay. The Duke of Brindleton Bay, they had a girl. They did have a girl. They did. Okay, they had a girl and I named it Lady Marjorie because I had a viewer who wanted one of the, they wanted one of the royals to be named Lady Marjorie, but there's not enough room for there to be a Princess Marjorie. It has to be a Lady Marjorie. So I named her that. And then these both do had boys. So the Marquis of Brindleton Bay and the Baron of Brindleton Bay, they both had boys. So, yeah, so there's a lot of babies happening, guys. There are a lot, a lot, a lot. So, we are going to go back because we want Princess Nea to... Why is she sad? Is she... Is she broken? Damn. What? What happened? Did something happen? What's happening? Oh, okay, well, maybe let's go to Prince Philip. Well, not Prince Philip. Oh, my gosh. To... Earl Philip, maybe that'll cheer her up a little bit if she goes to visit him. 
So yeah, you guys can see how incredibly good looking this boy is. Like, so good looking. I'm just, it's ridiculous. Okay, so, oh my goodness, it is, it is snowing. It is going to be winter very soon, so that means no parties, because I don't want anyone to die. So, knock on the door, although they are out here. But yeah, that's Earl Philip right there, so can we just invite him in so we can, like, go talk to him and stuff? Because I want you guys to see him gossip, but, like, come inside and gossip. Like, sit here and chat. Sit and chat here. So you guys can actually see each other, because he's not in his coat, and he's- it's- it's snowing a lot. So he should be. Oh my gosh, this- this castle is- or not castle, but this mansion is just crazy. Okay, so this is Earl Philip, you guys. Let me know what you think. I think he's beautiful. He reminds me of Paul Walker from the Fast and Furious series, uh, the celebrity who passed away, because- oh my gosh, you guys, Paul Walker was my celebrity crush, and I don't actually, like- I, like, understood, like, celebrities being attractive and stuff, but I never really had a celebrity crush until him. And, oh my goodness, did I cry when he died. I was just, like, in tears. But anyway, he looks like him, and it's freaking me out a little bit, but I love him so much. But, oh my goodness, yeah. So, I think him and Princess Naya, I mean, they were friends as kids anyway. I think that, like, they've already got a really good relationship. So, I kind of want to see if they're going to be able to go on their first date. So we're gonna like chat a little bit. If, do they have a TV here? Whoa, my gosh, is that big? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's frightening. What is this? I've never seen that before. Is that like a a magic bean? What is it? Rarity, common? How is that common? Okay, strange. Okay, but where is there? Is there a computer? Or no, I'm looking for a TV. Is there a TV in here? Is there not a TV in here? What? Uh, do we have to invite him over to our house? I was just, like, thinking if they watch TV, they could get into, like, a flirty mood or something. But maybe we can get into that mood anyway. Their, like, relationship is already going up a lot. So, why don't we flirt? <laughs> Guys, honestly, and I think, yeah, because I'm pretty sure Princess Nea's parents already met him. I think they did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. So, they've already met him, they liked him, and I, I think, whoa, what is happening? Oh my gosh, what? What is happening, you guys? That is so... Fr I've seen Sims that do, do that before, and it's weird. It's terrifying, actually. Okay, so we're gonna try to flirt with him, and it is very dark in this corner of the house. Let's see if we can go on a date. Things seem to be kind of going well. Their relationship is so high, you guys. I mean, like, their friendship. They're, like, such good friends already. The relationship is so high. Okay, so ask out on a date. So, oh yeah, yes, it's going up. Okay, so ask out on a date. So where should we go on a date? Okay, why doesn't she take him somewhere in Oasis Springs? So that way, because like he would be the king of Oasis Springs, so he kind of needs to get to know his town a little bit better and everything. So maybe we should go to the museum or, or just like the bar or the lounge or something. I haven't like updated any of these. Well, should we go to this wedding venue? Oh, let's go to the park. Yeah, that's fine. We can go to the park. So this, I'm pretty sure, is where her parents got married. So it's a park. There should be some Sims here. I don't actually remember how much there is to do here, but I think it would be fun. Just because the other venues, I haven't, like, really, like, updated them. Like, they're, they're the ones that came with the game, so I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't be very fun if we went there. But, I don't know, maybe it would be. But, it is. I didn't realize it is like 1 a.m. on a Monday. But, they should be doing their homework and stuff, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, a knight just showed up. Okay. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Arif Banage. Oh my goodness gracious. And he's terrifying in this knight costume. Okay, well, let's get away from this knight. And it is very cold outside. We have, like, so much stuff here, though. Forgot about this. They have, like, the dance floor. There's a little kid room over here, too. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff here. We've got like a chess table, we could play together. Let's play chess together. Yeah, let's do that, okay. So they can play chess together. Oh gosh, this is so cool. It's like a little like shopping mall kind of. Oh no, wait, wait, play together. Where is Earl Philip? I keep wanting to call him Prince Philip and I keep wanting to call, oh my gosh, I should have gotten, no, stop, why? Why are you doing that? Please stop doing that, okay. I was gonna say, I should have gotten Prince, or like, Philip, and like, 
Lady Aurora together because it's Lady Pr Princess Aurora and Prince Philip. But yeah, I won't do that. It would be so much fun. I know other channels do this, but I love Disney so much and I would love to do like a Disney series, but I don't know. I did, I had like a Disney series at one point. Okay, so I just saw that their like romance ro went down a little bit. So I think we need to do like a smooth recovery or something here. So romance, do we need to do a smooth recovery though? I don't even know if we do. We could flirt. It's a suggestive conversation. So maybe we just need to do some like other friendly interactions too. And then maybe that'll help a little bit. We can show off her outfit. Looks like our romance is going up a little bit better. Blow, her, blow him a kiss. And then we can compliment his appearance. Hopefully this goes a little bit better. My goal is to have them be boyfriend and girlfriend. So we'll see how this goes. So why don't you flirt with him again? It's go I like our it's going up a good amount. I'm trying to get them to be a little bit more flirty though. It doesn't look like we're getting there yet. Blow another kiss. Why is she angry? Why does she have an angry one? Emotional. This is a symptom from Princess Naya's menstrual cycle. Ugh, fine, okay. Um, I'm gonna make sure everyone is happy. Cheat need make happy, cheat need make happy. So then this might be a little bit easier. So tease mercilessly. I don't know if we wanna do that. Compliment his appearance. Tell him he's beautiful. And then flirt. And then, let, okay. Let's see if we can do a first kiss now. Let's see how this goes. They're not, both of them aren't flirty, but it's going, oh, okay, there we go. He's feeling flirty. She's not, but it's a steamy exchange. So I think we could get a first kiss in, you guys. I think this might work. Have them get their first kiss in. Yay! Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. They are... Okay, so they've got their kiss. So they're not boyfriend and girlfriend yet. Oh, wait. But we can ask. We're going to ask him to be our boyfriend. Let's see what he says. Yes! He said yes! He said yes! He said yes! They're taking a selfie together, guys. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. This... Yay! Okay, so she is dating. Wait, why does it still say ask to be boyfriend? Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, anyway. So, does she need... Do they still need to be in their coats and stuff, though? Because I think it'd be cute if they, like, weren't in their coats and stuff. Okay. Oh, you guys! Stop! That is so cute. Okay, we already have a gold. I'm gonna end the date early because we do want to get to some other stuff in this episode. So, yeah! So, that's our first royal teenagers that are dating well i mean like he's not a royal teenager but she's a royal teenager so they're dating now so this that was her first date i just thought oh gosh guys their babies are gonna be very attractive let's just say that oh my goodness gracious okay so i'm excited to see that i'm sure that some of them are still gonna end up with brown hair and then i might just end up having like their grandchildren whoever's the heir to their throne like marry someone who like kind of looks like what what the their ancestors look like so we'll just kind of see. I don't know. It kind of gets into a melting pot anyway. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to the Windenburg Palace. So we, well, do you guys want to see the toddlers age up for, well, maybe we'll do that in the next episode. We'll see. Well, uh, let me try this first because I, I still want to go to this. So with Princess Amira. So I had a lot of you guys say that you wanted Princess Amira and Prince Johan to be in the arranged marriage. And it's like a complete arranged marriage. Like they're not really all for this or like they know that they have to do this. And like they're taking lovers on the side. Like they're not really that. They're not really in love with each other at all. They're like way more into themselves. I think that's a great idea. I feel like that's like if anyone were to do it, it would totally be them. So I think that no matter what, Princess Amira knows that she has to marry Prince Johan. So, but I still think she would like, she's like going. So I think her mindset right now is like, she doesn't know she's going to be completely unfaithful when she gets married. I think her mindset right now would be like, oh, well, if I have to marry Prince Johan, then I should like get all of my other flirtiness out to other guys as much as possible. I kind of feel like that would be her mindset at the moment. So I think that we're going to have her do that. So it's 5 a.m. right now. She's got to go to she's gotta go to school soon, actually. But yeah, okay. So before we do any flirting, do your homework because that's important. Everyone do your homework and then we will have her. I, I There's like, there's so many boy teenagers right now, honestly. Like she has her pick of so many. And I'm excited for her to become a young young adult and to get the relentless tease 
trait because I know that's one of them that comes with the slice of life mod. And and then you I also mentioned in the last episode too, so some people were saying that they want King Henry to be to like get married and it doesn't have to be for love, just to show his kingdom that like he's stable, he can get married. But then I like mentioned that in the last episode and some other people were still saying, no, I don't think Prince Henry should get married. Or King Henry should get married. So I'm not gonna force it. I, I don't want to like lo like look for someone for him to get married, but I feel like if someone shows up that we all think that is I don't I mean like not everyone's gonna agree, but I think that if someone shows up that we think would go with him, that like would be good for him, then maybe we can have him marry someone else. But I'm not gonna look for it. I'm not gonna force it. If he doesn't find anyone, then he doesn't find anyone. But I mean, like, it's not uncommon for someone to get married after they're after they become a widow, widower, widow, yeah, widower. So yeah, I just want to throw that out there. So it's a possibility. I don't have anyone in mind at, at the moment. But if if we do find someone that it becomes close with, then then we can maybe see. But yeah, just wanted to point that out. So King Henry, why don't you help your children out with their homework? Is she still doing homework? Maybe she stopped. Why are they just frozen there? Is that how they do their homework? They're just they're just reading. It won't let King Henry help her with her homework. Become partners in crime? Are they mischievous? Well, we know that Princess Amira is pretty mischievous. Okay, well, Princess Amira completed her homework. So let's have her travel. Maybe we'll have her, like, skip school. That would be... Oh, that would be bad. If the princess was skipping school, that would be very bad. Okay, so someone she did not get along with at first was, I think, pretty sure it was Lord Sean who she didn't really get along with. I'm trying to think, like, who else, though, is... Like, we also have Lord Scott. So that could be someone she might start flirting with. Baron... No, wait. Okay, there he is. Sir Daniel. So he's a teenager, too. And I'm pretty sure that's, like, kind of... That might be, like, it? No. No, yeah, okay. So we also have these two, Lord Jasper and Lord Ian. So yeah, so those are, oh yeah, and it looks like Baron of Willow Creek, they also had their baby too. And then um, he's a young adult, so he's not a teenager. So I I don't know, I'm kind of just thinking of like sending her off to find someone <laughs> to like flirt with. I mean like these, they're brothers here. So I just, I don't know. I feel like she would just get the flirting. Like she, want, she just wants to flirt. She just wants to flirt with people. She, like, she knows she has to get married to Prince Yoan. Like, she has to. So, I just feel like in her mind, it's like, well, then I need to, like, get... I need to experience other guys before I'm, like, committed to this guy for the rest of my life that I have to be committed to. But I still feel like she wouldn't be completely committed when she does marry him, too. So, yeah, there's that. And I'm sure Prince Yoan would not be completely committed either because he's very into himself, too. So we have Lord Jasper. I'm actually surprised that Princess Amira doesn't know him yet. So Lord Jasper and Lord Ian. So she knows Lord Ian. So I think Lord Ian might be the one who's more her age. Because I don't think they're twins. I don't think they're twins. Maybe they are. But, oh, her manners increased from introducing herself. So a hard fault. So she's talking to both of them. I guess we're just going to see who she hits it off with first. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is like, oh, I saw fish for compliments. That is totally something she would do if she's talking to two guys. Honestly, let's do discuss interest. I want that that interaction to show up again because I think that's actually hilarious. So yeah, I'm gonna see who she gets along with first. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just like this is so risky. Like she's a princess, you guys. And like she has like we've just put her into this house. She has no reason to be here. She just kind of like stopped by and said hi. Because she's a teenager. She needs to get this hormones out. It's almost time for them to go to school, though. She's got a pristine reputation right now, though. I do not know how long that's going to last, to be honest. Fish for compliments. There it is. She would totally do this. She's totally going to fish for compliments. I totally see that happening. So, yeah, she's going to do that. So, Phil needs. Um, and then, I did they give her a compliment? I think they did. Yes, they did. Okay, should she whisper about her crush? I don't think she knows who her crush is yet, though. I don't know if she's actually interested in either of them. We'll, we'll just have to see. So, Lord Ian and Lord Jasper. Actually, her relationship with jo Lord Jasper has gone up a lot. Like, she didn't know him when we first got here, but now she knows him just as much as Lord Ian. So, let's start flirting. We're in a group conversation here. She's just going to start flirting. 
yeah, well, <laughs> you guys, this is just, I'm so, this is hilarious. I think, too, though, so, like, she knows she has to be with Prince Yo. Oh, no, they're going to school. Oh, she didn't even have time to do any of that. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Well, well, that, but that's just, like, that. that's just so, like, a possibility, so we know. So, okay, so they're at school right now, but, ah, sorry, guys. I was kind of hoping that she would get to be able to, like, start flirting with someone. I don't, definitely not probably get a boyfriend in this episode, but they have to go to school now. So maybe we'll go ahead and age up some of the little babies of the noble families. It looks like we're going to pay our bills soon too. So I'll definitely get to that. But we do have a little bit of time. So why don't we go ahead and age up some of the little kids? I'm not going to age up all of them because it's just a lot. So same we go to Manage Worlds. So we're going to age up Princess Anna's baby. Oh, and Princess Anna's pregnant again. I forgot to say that too. So I'm sorry, guys, I didn't do that on camera. I just like... I, oh, it's just because I was so sick and I just really wanted to play The Sims and I was like, well, I really want to get the storyline moving, so I don't want it, you guys to have to see us, like, trying to get people pregnant and aging people up all the time. So I just wanted things to, like, move along as, uh, like, a little bit quicker for you guys, so I just, like, was like, well, I guess that Princess Anna will have her baby, some of the other people will have their baby, and Princess Anna will get pregnant. So now she's pregnant. So she's going to have three kids, maybe more, if she ends up having triplets or twins or something. Okay, so we also got to see their new house in the last episode so it is a little is it that it's not small and like up here we have this little science area so like this i feel like can be turned into a bedroom though but i don't want like anyone to have to sleep in the attic so i don't know we'll have to see not 100 sure that this could totally be turned into a bedroom but guys oh my gosh i noticed this i didn't know this house had a basement it had like so like this level and then this level and then this is the basement and look out this is creepy and I can't delete any of it. Like, anytime I try to delete it, it won't let me. It says, like, action not possible here. Nothing to delete. Like, how? It won't let me delete it. And this is frightening me, frankly. So, I, I'm just, I don't, I don't want to let anyone come down here. Because it's freaky. I can't turn it into anything else but this, like, dungeon. So, I deleted all the doors. Because I was like, I don't. <laughs> I don't want this to be here. So, I deleted, like, the stairs and stuff, too. Just because I'm like, wow, this is a really creepy house. Maybe I'll just like put a new house in here. I don't know yet. We'll just have to see. So, okay. So where's the baby though? Because I don't actually know where. Oh, wait, right. Okay. So I put, I put the baby here. So I made this into like the little nursery area. So this is Lady Ezra's bed. So Lady Aurora is here in her little crib. And I have some custom content wallpaper here too that I love so, so much. So this is Lady Aurora, guys. And I love her name so much. So we have Ezra, Aurora. I have no idea what Aurora is going to look like. But then they're going to have their third baby too. So when is Princess Anna supposed to have her baby? She's, okay, she's not even in her second trimester yet. So she's not going to be having her baby for a good amount of time. But let's go ahead and age up Princess Aurora, or Lady Aurora. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get stuck saying Princess Aurora. Aurora, because there is a Princess Aurora. So, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so yeah, we can age her up. And then maybe we'll age up some of the other noble family kids too. So, Lady Aurora aged up. So, let's have her be... I don't remember what Lady Ezra is. Let's have her be angelic. Because, it just, like, just make her, like, the actual Princess Aurora. Oh my goodness, and she looks like her sister, too! Yay! Okay, so this is Lady Aurora. Oh my gosh, guys, she's beautiful. And I don't have to change her outfit. She's already wearing pink. Well, La Princess Aurora, like, wears pink and blue. But, like, oh my god, I don't even have to change her outfit. She's perfect! I love her, guys. Oh, she's so pretty. She's sad, though, and I don't know why. I don't know why she's sad. Why are you sad, baby? Brighton day. What's wrong? Is she hungry? Oh, right. She's a toddler, so I can actually see what's wrong. Wait, why are you... Oh, because of the dollhouse being beaten down. Oh, okay, well, Lord Marshall can fix that. Hmm, okay. Well, yeah, okay, so we have La uh, Lady Ezra and Lady Aurora, so I'll have to add a little toddler bed for her, too. Because right now she just has the crib, but I am going to keep the crib. I wonder if they're going to have a third girl if or if they will have a boy. But, yeah, we'll just have to see about that. So, I, mm, I really wanted you guys to see Princess Amira chatting with like some of the boys and stuff but since they're at school and it's only 11 a.m i don't know if we're gonna be able to get to do that in this episode i'll focus on that a little bit more i think in 
the next episode. Yeah, let's do that in the next episode. So, so just so yeah, you guys will know. So we'll age up the toddler or the toddlers. We'll age up the twins of Oasis Springs in the next episode. Princess Amira will get to flirt with some boys in the next episode too. So we'll kind of see. And then I think I am going to have her start pr- flirting with Prince Johan too. Because they need some sort of romantic relationship if they're going to be able to get married and stuff too. So we'll have her flirt with him too. But like also be flirting with other guys also. So Princess Amira is just going to be a big flirt in the next episode guys. So yeah hope you're looking forward to that but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode give this video a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye